Mike Kay of Hydratech. I'm going to give you a pre-release preview of HydraCalc for Revit MEP. This project is part of the Revit MEP 2010 Fire Protection Tutorial. I will use this partial sprinkler system to demonstrate how to perform hydraulic calculations with HydraCalc for Revit. There are a few things we'll need to do prior to running the calculations. First, we need to load the required annotation families. HydraCalc for Revit will add some additional properties to the sprinkler head families during setup. Operating sprinklers within the design area need to be selected. Area number, minimum pressure, whether these sprinklers are flowing for this set of calculations, NFPA required density, and coverage area all need to be entered. Next, we need to add the water supply information and supply location. This sample has a partial standpipe, so we will add the supply at the base of the riser. I'll switch to a 3D view and select the cap at the base of the riser. In the comments section, type the word supply. Now we will switch to the level 2 floor plan. Here, we will create an instance of the water supply annotation. Adjust the information to the available water supply. Now, let's run the calculations. I'll select the system and pick Hydraulic Calculations from the HydraCAD icon. Then I'll check my setup and pick Continue. When processing is complete, I'll be at the HydraCalc input screen. From here I can make any adjustments to the calculation input and make NFPA printouts of the final results. When HydraCalc is closed, reference nodes are automatically added to the Revit project. HydraCalc for Revit MEP will be available first quarter of 2013. Visit our website for more information. Thank you.